(laughs) (laughs) Oh, gosh. All right. Cool. So this week we have Riley Lassen on Shotcast. Uh, We are drinking again. Yeah. We just... (laughs) We just started, um, and it was it was rough. It was rough because she's she's drinking vodka. I'm allergic to vodka. Like yeah, actually, yeah. I was when you texted me that I was like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Is it because it's potato? That's what I thought. But yeah. then I did a taste test of a bunch of different vodkas, and it's still I really? just like blow up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I I steer Whew. clear. Haven't had vodka in like five years. It's not. Gr- it's fine. If I not, miss you're missing it. really. Yeah, I do. You're missing out on vodka. I because would. It's, it's not in everything. It, you, this is true. There's a lot of good drinks with vodka. Yeah, in it. like yeah. Bloody Marys. Now I get Bloody Maria. I was like yeah, Bloody Maria. Yeah, I gotta yeah. Make a twist. On you gotta everything. make a little twist. Yeah. I, see, I can't do tequila. I'm not allergic. I just can't. <laughs> I'm just. I just can't about. do it. I drink tequila and I'm just uh, like I instantly. Ugh. I can't. Um, gin though. Gin's cute. Gin's great. Gin reminds me of just like perfume in a bottle. <laughs> Right? Perfume, the perfume that fucks you up. That's what, that's what gin is. It is. It's yeah. like fruit spray. It's I truly, like it. truly like, like fruit it. spray. So yeah, so she's drinking Tito's. Um, mm-hmm. Tito's. Is this a handmade handmade vodka? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just like picturing all these at like, home. Kids, like, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy it. though. My uncle, my great uncle. It was my great uncle. Someone in my family made bathtub gin. Oh really? See. That uh, sounds like a like a brothel sweat <laughs> <laughs> contraption. Like bathtub gin, you know shit was hard. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know shit's hard when like I make bath. I'm already feeling this vodka. By the way, Dude. I'm already, I'm already like. <laughs> Yo, I know. I was just telling Riley I didn't have dinner, oh, so I'm eating yeah. some Cheetos. So I apologize. Yeah, some rice earlier. Oh God. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like ASMR mm. in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it ASMR sounds like. Cast. I love it. I love it. ASMR puts me to sleep. I'll watch it on TikTok before Do I go you? to sleep. Mm-hmm. I um, I haven't gotten into the ASMR just yet. No, I no. love ASMR. But I'm I'm kind of ready. What would you, <laughs> <laughs> what would you su- suggest that I um? Watch that I, that I listen to. Okay, or I'm weird. Yeah, I watch it. Ooh. I watch the um. You watch the, the, the like. like like they're eating something. Like they're eating. What was I just watching? Was it noodles? I don't know. I'm weird. I never told anyone this before. I'm excited. Is it the noodles? I don't know what I was watching, but it's calming. Yeah. And it sounds weird to me watch saying it. And here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and touch. And touch. <laughs> you watch the whole thing. You DM them. I love it. Over. I love when they do it. I love when like they'll they'll you do anything. This ASMR. It's called mukbang. M u k b a n g. Muck bang. Mm-hmm. We're fantastic. doing a lot of free ads. It's <laughs> we'll get a sponsor. And it's soon. all like f- it's food and eating. Food. It's so, I love watching it. It's so calming to me. I don't know why. It's the same thing when people like eat like eat like that. You know, people get so annoyed. Yeah, it doesn't won't. bother me. Oh, it's kind of soothing to me. Oh, really? Oh, I never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here for. We're lubing it up. <laughs> We're losing it up. It's great. Yeah, that doesn't annoy me. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Chew away. Oh, wow. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm not, like, totally against it. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I've just never gotten into it. But what's a good starter ASMR <laughs> pack for someone who hmm. doesn't listen to I don't watch? think food. I don't know if you like the food. Food, okay. I think food might be a little intense for you. Okay. You might like the, the people who, like, do stuff with the microphone. Like, they might put, like... Like something over the microphone, they like, like oh nails, my condom. Like <laughs> yes, they have like nails, and they touch the nails and go like, hello. <laughs> and it's like very, yeah. It's like it's a very sensory overload. I love it. I'm a very sensory Dude, if overload I person. Like I love that. Just go to Times Square. I love Times Square. <laughs> people are like, that's too much. I'm like, more, more, more. You love everything that most <laughs> yes. people don't love. Like, I love a hug. Like, I, people that hate, I love hugs. I'm oh, like I such love a hugger. hugs, too. I, I'm a hugger. But I respect people that are like, mm-mm. <laughs> it's like, don't hug me. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> like, I understand if they're, like, in my personal space. I'm like, okay, I understand. But I'll go right in for one. I'll go in for one, too. Like, I, uh, I don't know. I feel like. It's funny because, like, I've been hosting a lot of shows lately, Mm -hmm. and the difference between people when they, like, get off and come on between, like, the pound it or the handshake, Mm -hmm. I always go for the handshake. See, that's professional. But I've had a lot of awkward, like... I think (laughs) because COVID did that. 
Yeah. COVID, is it like an automatic? COVID did a lot of this because I feel like you're not, like, I feel like when you do the hand thing, you're, you're there's fully, so much. You're fully in You're At least with this, it's like not as much. But I just feel like it's such still a loser. touching. You're still touching. I just think it's funny when <laughs> you're always thinking some like you did like someone does like this and you're like, yeah. Oh my god, dude, it happens so awkward. So much. Yeah. I some also high fives. I'm like, what? Oh, no, no. Stop. Don't high five me. No. <laughs> like I'll be like, what are we doing? <laughs> the the pounda is already like borderline lame. Like I can't. <laughs> oh, god, high five's bad. Mm-hmm. But I um, I actually <laughs> now I'm just thinking of like going on and off stage. I think it was last weekend. I, <laughs> I was I did a spot. I was getting off, and uh, someone's like coat was hanging on the back of their chair, mm-hmm. and uh, I was sober. <laughs> I have to make that <laughs> distinction. Um, and I was getting off, and I like slipped on their coat. Yeah, because like, it was on the floor. It was at Greenwich, so it's like dark. It's, it's yeah. scary. <laughs> Five million people in one little basement. Yeah, I'm like this basement was, the size of literally this room. <laughs> it's yeah, so small. Yeah. And I get off and I slipped and I like almost completely fell over and then I like recovered and I just took a bow. Oh, very nice. And then uh, Spencer Celio was uh, hosting and he was like, mm. "Well, nice later, way to fall." I'm like, "God <laughs> damn it, man!" I'm like, "I did so good," and then I just fell on my face. Story of my life. Oh my god. Yeah, I've fallen off stage before. Yeah, yeah. I like feel off like the you stage. Have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stage died. I've sta- I, and the thing is, I fell off my second second year second year in comedy. I fell off the stage, <laughs> and I stayed there, like I stayed on the ground because I was so embarrassed to get up. And it's everyone like just got just quiet. Like- and the one comic in the back went, "You good?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I was so you. embarrassed. I was so you know what kids are like. You can't see me. Yeah. I was down there like if I don't move. <laughs> they won't know I'm down here. I'm a part of the floor. I just felt so embarrassed. I was like, I can't. I can't do anything. Audience members were like, no one helped me. No one helped me up. No one helped? No. That's fucked up. No one helped me up. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe they, they could sense the fear. <laughs> they could be yeah, like, no. they're like, she wants to be ignored. <laughs> yeah. let, her, let, let her do what she's doing. And then army crawl <laughs> out of out the club. Out of the club, like, yeah. all the way up uh, the stairs. Kind of like, you okay? You good? I'm like. <laughs> Shh, just keep it going. Keep, next, next comic. Next, <laughs> next comic, comic coming over Riley is. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. I've had a lot of mishaps, like, but that's kind of what makes like the the live shows. Like, I oh, hundred percent. I had a uh, date fun. come to yeah. like. Did I have date anyone like a date come by accident? Like I, two dates come, like people come and you're like, no, 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 don't come to my show. Yeah, and then they come. Yep. Guys love it. Like, oh, I feel like a lot of guys like that. Where they're yeah. like, oh, yeah, I invited this girl to my show. I would never. Nope. I would never nope. invite a man to my show. And, like, I know. I don't know if that sounds weird. And, like, I, know, I don't know. But, I, you know, Fleet Week? Fleet Week? Fleet Week. In Fleet New York? Week. Fleet Week. Oh, I, th- I, when, I like, don't know When, like, the why. Navy. Ma- is it Navy, I believe, when oh, they come in? yes. I don't know ships? why my brain went to, like, Fleetwood Mac. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's good. Fleet Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Fleet Week. Yeah, yeah. Come, come in. Yeah. And they have their, like. Their, their outfits, uniform. their uniforms, <laughs> their, their, little, co- their costumes, their, their little outfits, their little outfits, <laughs> their cute little, they're, and they're all so cute, and they all come off with their, with their, you know, everything on, and I was on Tinder, and I, I was, like, just swiping with, there were so many, I was so excited, it was my second year, comp, first, second year, I was like, oh, and I matched with this dude, and he's like, oh, what are you doing tonight, and I thought it sounded cool, being yeah. like, oh, I'm at a, I'm doing a show, yeah, yeah, oh, where's the show, Oh, it's at this place. It was at Broadway. Oh, nice. It was at Broadway Comedy Club. He goes, oh, that's awesome. That's it. That was a conversation. We're done. And then um, that night, I look out in the audience, and I just see all <laughs> all these men <laughs> in could uniform. You, could you tell which one he was? Well, at first, I look out. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Like, they're like, that's so nice. They, they came to a comedy show. Someone must have brought them in from the street. And, and then like, nah, the front Tinder. row was was the dude, and he sat with one of his friends in the front row, and he was like, "Hi, it's me." I oh, I was dying, dude. Oh my god! I remember Sheba Mason was crying. <laughs> She's like, "Are you kidding me? Who is responsible for this yeah. whole Navy fleet?" Right. She's like, "Who brought Riley? them in?" I was like, "I didn't." And then he invited me back to his room after. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Wait, so when they get off. They're just in port, right? Like they go back on the boat. I think they're they just like in a hotel. Oh, they're in a hotel. He, I went back to his hotel. Wow. I think they're only here for 
like two days. They're not here for long. That's why he was like, all right, yeah, fuck it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, right? Yeah. And he's from, I think he's from Georgia. Okay. So he was just like, oh, he was like southern boy. crazy. I was, I think, 24 at the time. I think he was like 22. Okay. I was 23, nice. 24. He was like uh, 22. Golden he was, years. He was, yeah, we were both <laughs> like sober, like, woo. But it was a we it was weird. I went back to his uh, his room and it was all it was so strange. Was, was he so strange. rooming alone? No, he had another dude. <laughs> <laughs> he had another dude. I totally forgot about that. This like, was this was like six years ago. It turned into a threesome. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> well, at first he was very handsome, and then we were hooking up, and then he goes, um, he goes because I talked about being a Jew, being Jewish on um in in the show, mm. and we we're hooking up, and he just looks at me. We're just making out, and he's like. I'd never been with a Jew before. And I was like, why does this feel weird? I was like, you don't say it. Yeah, what? Think it. You can think it. Think, wow, I've never been with a Jewish girl before. Don't say it. Yeah. Because I've never been with a Jew before. I was like, yeah. I'd be like, are you, are you German? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> we have a problem. Why, why are we so, and I don't think he's ever really met a lot of Jews where he's from. He okay. was kind of being like, I don't yeah, really like know a, a lot of Jews. Southern boy. Right, and I know he didn't meet, I was like, okay. I was like, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, eh, I don't know, really in the mood. I'm good. Oh, so after that, you after like, that, I also was a little nervous. I'm yeah, also <laughs> nervous. I never really did a one night stand. I was nervous. I was yeah. very nervous, but I was like, I'm good. And then as we're walking out of the hotel room, he, um, I was like, thank you so much. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm just having an early morning. And I did. I was working brunch. I was like, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, this was so nice. Don't worry. Thank you for that. The show was great. I had a great time. So I'm like, okay, we all had a good time. Yeah. And then he goes, by the way, and I was like. Yeah, I was like, we're leaving on a good note. What, what, what is it? He goes, um, after I leave the service, I want to go to Hollywood. And I was like, oh, for what? He goes, I want to be an actor. And I think acting's so cool. And I said, oh, good for you. Yeah. He goes, who can I call? <laughs> you got the hookup? I said, what? He goes, you're Jewish. Well, you know, <laughs> don't you know people in Hollywood? <laughs> Slater, I'm not even joking. He goes, don't you know people? I, I go, do you think I would be here <laughs> in this hotel room talking to you if I knew people? I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't I know shit. I know no one. I was as soon as he said I was like, goodbye. Yo, goodbye. Oh, be started... safe out there. Goodbye. Yo. Thank you for your service, sir. Yeah. <laughs> goodbye. I can't provide you any, any more service. <laughs> we're, we're out. We're done. <laughs> We That's are done. hilarious. Yeah. You know what? Okay, so just speaking of like Jewish, because I'm not, but I have a lot of Jewish friends now. I I went to a high school like I'm from way upstate, like three hours north of here, mm -hmm. and um, I honestly think we had one Jewish person in our class. Okay, and it's upstate New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see some parts. And then when <laughs> I went to Buffalo, it was like a bunch of people from Long Island, and everybody was Jewish. Oh okay, yeah. Like, oh, and like the rabbi would come. Oh, very uh, nice. Yeah, and like visit all the like whole Greek row, <laughs> and like we'd be fucked up. Oh, like, do you guys have Jewish sororities? Do they have like a pie? Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, very yeah. nice. And he would come uh, in Sigma Delta Tau. Was yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. And he would uh, he would make his rounds on every like you know festive day. So cute. And uh, <laughs> he knew that like my house wasn't Jewish, but he would come anyway. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, he was like trying to like convert us at one no, point. No, Jews don't do that. Jews like, don't do what? Jews, Jews, Jews don't convert. You have to try really hard to come in. Really, I got to be invited. Yeah, oh, not so much invited, but like you have to want it. Oh. You have to come to Jews. We're good. Like, yeah. that's the one thing about Jews, I'll say. Like, yeah. we won't. You're not like we, Jehovah Witnesses. Right, we won't be like, join us. But we're like, it's a it's a, it's a a cool club. If you want to come, you got to do some things. Like, we're going to have an interview. Right. It's going to be a go long process. A it's a long process. I have friends who really? converted. Mm -hmm. What? And it's a long process. What does that entail? I think a lot of it is just making sure that you want to be, you know, uh, Cause it's just it's such a small. There's only a few of us. as point two yeah. percent in the world. Yeah, it's very and we're. Tr it's not that we're we don't we don't want people who want to convert. We just want to make sure that you understand. It's a very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about quality. Not like quality. we only have so few. We don't care about quantity at this right. point. Obviously, we had a big hit. <laughs> we're just trying to get the good people. I in. know we had a big we had a big hit a couple <laughs> years ago. That's why and a lot of play you know, a lot of like. Um, Hasidic, you, you see a lot of like babies, a lot of kids. You're like, oh, there's so many kids. Yeah, they're trying to repop, trying to repopulate. Yeah, and it's like, I understand that, but we don't. We definitely don't. 
Hey. So he just liked us, I guess. He must, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I could see him just being like, ooh, party. Like to, yeah. And to <laughs> Drinks this, and party. To this I love year, that. Or day, rather. He, uh, he'll still message me on, like, Facebook every year on my birthday. Oh, that's it's so like, cute. happy birthday. Wait, I got to pull up what he says <laughs> because it's so funny. I love little rabbits. I oh. know. He's the sweetest. He's I love honestly, him. like... He's so great. I love him. My uh, when I went to our uh, high rabbi. holidays, the big, the like the big holidays at our uh, synagogue this year, uh-huh. the rabbi came by and I was like, "Hi, rabbi." And he's like, "Oh, you're gonna have to like uh, do some stuff here sometime, like do some jokes." And I go, "Oh, I got a lot of jokes." And he goes, "I was because he meant <laughs> about synagogue. synagogue." I was like, "I have a lot of jokes." He goes, "Oh, I bet you do." <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Like, the rabbi just called me a hoe. No. <laughs> he said, oh, he's like, oh, I bet you do. But they even do that I in know, a nice my, way. My mom was like, oh, I think the rabbi just called you a hoe. I was like, eh, check it out. No, nah, he's just trying to fuck. <laughs> right, I know. Very handsome, but beautiful family. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, next on the list. <laughs> next rabbi. This is, this is him, Rabbi Avraham Gurari. I don't know if I'm pronouncing It's that. so funny. But that's him. It's because the way you pronounced it didn't <laughs> It sounded it like sound. it sounded something else. I'm probably, but I like it. it. No, but I love it. Oh, he's but so sweet. every year, see, happy birthday. I hope oh. all is well. I mean, it's a copy paste. It's the same message every year. But best wishes for a great, happy, healthy, and successful year. All the best. Have a great day and a great sh- Shabbos. 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 Yeah. So she like Shabbat. Oh. Oh. And yeah. He ends up and I just say thank you every time. <laughs> With two exclamation. So we all have that friend that messages us on our birthday every year, and our con- the conversation is always like. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. That's literally you and Avraham. <laughs> yeah, literally. We're b- all that Aww. year. I was really feeling it. I sent a oh, smiley. Thanks, face. Rabbi. Like, <laughs> we're on a first name basis. I know. I like the thanks, Rabbi. Oh. <laughs> if you want to, if you really want to, like, blow his mind one day. Oh, yeah. Please. I'll tell you how to say, like, thank you in Hebrew. Oh, hell yeah, dude. He would be I, like, whoa, what? I need to uh, learn. Oh, oh, that's that's our first timer. Oh, goes by quick <laughs> it does it um, does that was so fast i know i know oh yeah so i'm drinking some some gin mixed with spray i don't know it's cute it's, it's the bot spra- oh. the botanist it, um it's nice yeah these are these are gonna be sponsors soon um <laughs> <laughs> so i give them a nice show. cheetos and the botanist yeah <laughs> tito the botanist <laughs> watch Schweppes do it first yeah right Oh, it's okay. So I'm going to do Tito's. I love Tito's because it will it's say gluten-free on it, and I have celiac. So yeah, most things, most alcohols are gluten-free, but when you see something that just says you're good, it always makes you feel better. You're like, okay. I feel like. And I'm not going to, you know. I feel like. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot. Finding things. I know. Same. I got no, a maybe not. No, I'm like, yeah, I know. Pour it right pour in. It, don't pour <laughs> it back in. Don't, don't do I'll that. No, I'll put more in because I feel, I feel like I feel. Silly. I need like a little stir. <laughs> <laughs> like, a little bartender. Yeah. Okay, I know. Soon it's oh. just going to progress to like me having a shaker. <laughs> What's up, guys? Your first few podcasts where we're here spilling. And, <laughs> and then soon couple I just months later, a bar- just a bartender behind. <laughs> I'm like, guys, you know what? Comedy's not for me. I found my calling. I'm just going to do <laughs> drinks for the rest of I my life. Okay. All right. Well, uh, sh- Shabbat Shalom. Is that? Wait, today's Thursday? Yeah, oh, that's tomorrow. Oh, okay. that's an early. How that's do you say like cheers? Achaim. Oh, duh. <laughs> All right. I was like, you've been, you've been in New York long enough. Yo, I know. <laughs> oh. I love it. Oh wow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh you want a Cheeto? You want to chase with a little Cheeto? I'm okay. Thank are you. Though. Are these gluten free? I don't think so, but thank you though. I feel like it's hard to find oh, stuff. Oh, they that's, are. Is it? GF, baby, oh, wow. right there. You can have some if you want. <laughs> Thank you. I don't now that I know, I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> I'm no. like, oh, no. Now I know a good snack. I didn't have dinner, so that's why I'm so smart. Why I eat dinner, I eat dinner like at 10, 30, 11 all the time. Midnight, yeah. 1 a.m. It's a terrible crazy? schedule. It's a terrible schedule. I know, dude. It's so unhealthy. <laughs> My sister is uh, studying to be like a... I don't know, registered dietitian or something. Oh, very nice. Yeah. She's so older? Yeah, she's uh, 32. Oh, she'll be 32 this uh, tomorrow. Oh, Shit. okay. Yeah. Oh, I got to wish her a happy birthday. Very Look, nice. I almost forgot. <laughs> then my other sister's birthday is Monday, so it's like they're Irish oh, wow. twins. When's your birthday? June. Oh, okay. June what? 5th. Oh, I like that. 
Yeah. <laughs> is that Taurus? I approve of it. Gemini. You're a Gemini? Yeah. Spooky. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> my mom's a Gemini. Two, two people. I love Geminis. No, my mom's one. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Sagittarius. Sag? Yeah. Is I, that I, the I water? Water? Gemini. No. That's I think Aquarius. we're fire. Fire. I think fire. So complete opposite. <laughs> complete opposite. <laughs> I'm not good at horse. Complete though. opposite, but like, I'll, I'll like, I'll but hang I out. like water. <laughs> <laughs> I drink it sometimes. I drink it sometimes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> my sister's trying to be, trying to be. She will be. I'm like, she's setting her up for failure. She's studying to be an Good RG. for her. Yeah. That's awesome. She, uh, she like married this uh, MLB player. What? So she's like set for life. Really? So, but now I think she's finding her purpose. Oh my God. I'm you know, I'm like, why, oh bitch? Like, she just stay at home. How did she meet him? Uh, a blind date. Oh my god, I what? Know. I'm like, that is Good for so her. rare. Wow. Like, a, <sighs> the first blind date she ever went on, she used to be a personal trainer. She's very into like health and fitness. Very nice. Oh, so, so they probably get along because he does. Yeah, well, running. now he's <laughs> retired. Retired at 36. I'm like, good for you, buddy. Damn. Yeah, right? I'm like, girl could dream. <laughs> 36. Oh, but good uh, for him. yeah, so he, they have two kids. They're like two and four. Um, so cute. Aww. I love them. Oh, they have a whole family. Yeah, little boys. They're <gasps> adorable. Oh my god. Yeah. Do they play? Do they play ball? Like uh, yeah. Harrison. So, she married. His name's Josh Fields. She married him. Took his last name. So now it's Brittany Fields. Um. Okay. So nice. she she because it's all it's just me and my sisters. We don't have a brother. So she wanted to carry the name down somehow. So she mm -hmm. named her first son Harrison. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How cute. <laughs> I love Harrison that. Harrison Fields. Harrison Kane Fields. I'm like, he's going to be a goddamn president. That's a great president. name. That's a great name. <laughs> right? Harrison Fields. I felt like he was a president yeah, already I in like 1934. Yeah. <laughs> that might be. That might be a uh, president. And I, I just feel don't like know. Back in the yeah. Right? No, I, yeah. Harrison Fields. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, he's going to be a little stud. Or like a. Or like I feel like he would own like a like um this is my drunkenness not coming out. <laughs> You're like two shots. Two. Is, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this four year old. <laughs> I, I love he, kids. I see him owning like this is my drunkenness because I'm, I'm never, so like um not like not like a cookie like a cookie company. Oh, like like, Fields. Fields. like, uh, but like Mrs. Fields. Yeah, but I'm thinking like uh, something else like a potato chip company. Oh, like in Pennsylvania. God. Yep. Yeah, like a big Mr. Field. <laughs> like I can see him owning like a huge like um, like a, yeah, potato chip farm. <laughs> I don't even know how, how they do that. <laughs> Just start with a potato farm. I can see, I don't know like um maybe like a, or like a liquor company. I can see him owning like a big company. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll <laughs> check back in with you. <laughs> in like 20 years 20 years let me like, know Riley. i don't know i don't know why, why i'm old why? i'll be I know. 50 you know? I know. <laughs> Riley, i'm not doing so well <laughs> but my nephew is he's killing in the potato chip company <laughs> you you called it you're, you're like goddamn nostradamus over here <laughs> That's amazing oh, oh man well now he has a high bar to reach <laughs> And the other one, Logan. Oh, my brother's name's Logan. I yeah. love that name. Yeah. It's such a good name. It's such a cute name. Uh, Logan Ridge Fields. I love how I'm giving the full name. My sister's I probably going to kill me. No, I love that. <laughs> those are my great children names. full names. <laughs> and because those are cool names. Yeah, I'm like, Logan Ridge Fields. Like, he's also going to be like a name. scientist. Ugh. Like, what? That's you see scientists? Yeah. Logan Ridge Fields. I, don't I know. see a, I see a, a I see a player. I see like a baseball player, a mm. football player. I see a athlete. I see a sport. I see an athlete. Dude, he is like a little chunk too. Like he's got some like me on him. Okay, he yeah, I think he's like gonna. He's I feel like he's maybe a football player. Yeah, check back in with me because now I'm super yeah. oh invested. All right, I'll set an alarm on my phone <laughs> for twenty thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> what are they getting into? <laughs> Just a reminder. I'll be like, what? You'll be messaging me, and then the rabbi's still messaging you. <laughs> be like, rabbi's good. I'm also a Jew, and my nephews are both ballplayers. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you are a psychic. Have you named your kids, like, when you're, like, a baby? Like when you, I feel like when we're girls and we're younger, we're like, what's our babies going to be named? You know what's so funny about that is that I, I don't know if I want kids. I'm not, like... You know, a hard no, but I hear that. I hear not, that. Uh, I now that I'm 30, I'm like, holy shit! Like this shit's getting real, and I'm like, I can't yeah. handle that. I could barely. I had to watch my friend's dog this weekend. I was like, that's enough. Oh, you, mm -mm. Dog, like, I can't do. Like I try, <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's so hard. I'm like, now imagine a, a person, like another human mm -hmm. being, and then I also have to like 
make sure that they grow up right and become a good person. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Like, that's overwhelming just thinking about it. Is, it is. It's a lot of pressure. And I think when we're, like, six, we're like, oh, it's okay. We have time. Oh, yeah. No, I have a whole list on my notes in my phone of, like, girl and boy names. I, I, I don't you even a, know. You do. I don't even know if I want kids. <laughs> I'm just but like, I feel like we, I, that's a thing. We love just, like, pretending names. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like I don't playing know house. It is, when it is like kid. playing house. But even when you're older, like, I'll be, like, out with a girlfriend and we'll be like, to everyone, like, wouldn't anyone name your baby? Like, <laughs> I'm not even fucking a man right What's now. What's the name of What's your unborn child? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. at this point, it gets kind of deep too, because yeah. like <laughs> maybe something else happened. You know what I mean? But when you're six, we don't know anything. At I twenty know. nine thirty, we're like, there's a lot. There's a lot that could be happening, dude. It's scary. I don't know. But uh, what I was getting at before, before I lose it, because now I'm feeling a little. Tipsy. Yeah, I know. I'm over um, here talking about me. <laughs> the Cheetos aren't doing shit. <laughs> um. But she's, uh, so they met on a blind date. Uh, she was a personal trainer before she met him. And mm-hmm. one of the girls that she was training, she was married to a baseball player. Oh. But she didn't, I don't know if she knew that. Maybe she did. But, I'm, like, the girl who set her up, like, didn't tell her who okay. he was. So she went in literally <laughs> blind. Um, and the first, like, you know, 10 minutes, they're, like, talking, getting to know each other, whatever. And I was like, so how'd you know, like, he was the one, whatever, right? Yeah. And uh, she was like, well, you know, at first I I kind of felt very intimidated. And I was like, oh, why? He's like a southern boy, too. He's from Georgia. Okay. They live in Alabama now. Um, <laughs> but he was just, you know, very, like, eye contact, like, just, Oof. you know, yeah, like, southern you know, man. Is that like and hospitality? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That makes me nervous. Yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> just like, talking just about Just give him. me toxic yeah. men that don't look at me. I'm like, I just, <laughs> I don't even want to be near that. No, no. But that sounds very nice. That sounds yeah. like it's probably very healthy and So good. change of pace, right? <laughs> yeah. So she was good. like, all right, he was intimidating whatever. And I was like, oh, like what, like what else, what do he do? And she's like, well, he had his back, like they had a table right by the hostess stand mm-hmm. and he had his back towards the hostess and like the phone kept ringing on the stand and like she my sister was like telling him a story or they were like in an in-depth conversation and it kept ringing and the hostess wasn't there and he was like hang on one second and just hung it up <gasps> like picked it up and hung it up and he's like all right continue <laughs> i'm like yo that's a power move i don't even know what to do right and she was like i was just like Oh wow! Okay, like we are. Oh my seriously god! All yeah. eyes on me. Like no distraction. You are in wow. it. Wow. Yeah. And then they got engaged like two months later. Oh, two months. Yeah. Yeah. And then <sighs> we're married that winter. Wow. And then she got pregnant like a month after that. Whoa. And yeah. It just rolled. Like she was twenty eight at the time. So they've been together f- four or five years now. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting and also I know. scary and also intimidating, but also like. I want that. That would be nice. I know. Except I I, like, I'm not even putting myself out there like that. Like she probably was ready. Was she, she ready? Yeah, was she well, all like, she I was, want, a, I want a man. I want a husband. I want a family. She was kind of like doing her own thing. She went to school down in Alabama, so okay. she's be- she was she went down there and never came back. So she's been oh, so she yeah. Knows so now she's it. got a little southern twang too. Oh wow. Okay. She's like, oh, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> and then I'm like, whoa, my nephews are gonna like grow up and have southern accents. That's weird. Oh. <laughs> Harrison and Logan? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're going to be like, ah. Well, because she, uh, they, like, run a pretty strict household. Right. Um, and not in a, in a bad way. They're just, you know, like, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, <gasps> yes. yes, sir. But hearing that from, like, a little kid is so cute. He's like, no, ma'am. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, in, uh, like, in Jersey, I'm from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I had friends who call their parents by their first names really <laughs> yeah that's crazy i know my mom was like we're not doing that in this uh home. no but but when i saw it it wasn't even like a disrespect well i my, i thought it was disrespectful but the parents told them they could they're like yeah really? don't call me that make me feel it makes me feel old what they would do that like, it makes me feel old like, i was like what yeah. Mom, like you're, but you're a mom. Like even I would say, Mrs. Sometimes is they don't call me, me Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> they like, don't call me Mrs. Don't call me Mister. Yeah. Sometimes they just like just call me by my first name, and my dad hated that. My dad hated it's my dad. Weird. My my dad. It's funny because my <laughs> my dad, my grandpa, my brother is gonna be a dent. They're all dentists. My brother. Yeah, is going to I dental think school I knew and that. He's gonna graduate. Your dad seems like a cool dude. Yeah, too. my dad's dope. Yeah. He's he's a, he's an awesome dude, and but they're all dentists. 
my dad, my aunt, my grandpa was, and my brother is graduating in May from dental school. He's, okay, so, so he's younger, taking over. Younger brother. Yeah, he's doing 26. The thing. You're like, mm-hmm. I'm out. I, yeah, I could not. <laughs> they were trying for the longest time. Like, Riley, see if you want to take over. And I'm like, no. Like, because I was like, I have, to go to, I have to go to medical school for this. I was like, as soon as they saw my math grades when I was in first grade, they're like, yeah, Riley's <laughs> like, not. This literally does not add up. No, they're like, like this, you're, is, you're <laughs> this not is not gonna. it. But she, uh, but now they're all going to be dentists. Oh, my God. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, about Mr. and Mrs. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, because you know what? Because it's intriguing. <laughs> Alzheimer's. <laughs> Is it? Because I was literally like, oh, my. I heard the ring. And I was like, wait, alcohol? Um, yeah. But my dad was like, you have to call me doctor. He would tell my um, friends that. Oh, really? And it was really embarrassing. I, oh, I hate my gra- My grandma did it, too. My bubby was like, you have to call a doctor for like my friends and wow. my mom's friends all do- like oh this is dr lassen and like i remember being younger being like i'm so embarrassed and my dad after a while didn't care but my grandpa i think definitely cared but my dad oh yeah like, I I it's know a doctor. people thing. like mister be like hi mr lassen it's like they don't know yeah unless yeah. they're like i'm a doctor it's better than first name in it right like, at least you're saying mr lassen yeah. Like down it's south, they'll they'll put a Mister or a Mrs. in front of the first name. That's cute. I so think that's like, really oh, cute. Like Mister John or like yeah. Mrs. Like Abby. I think that's really cute. Yeah. Or Miss Abby. Like I'm I love like, Miss. Oh. I think it's so cute. Yeah. Like it's just a sign of respect. But it's crazy how it changes based on where you're from. Yes. Like if I ever called my mom by her first name, I don't think she'd freak out, but she'd be like, "What? what? Like what's, what's, what's wrong you with you? Yeah. Plus, it, her name's Anastasia." So that's, that's her name. Mouthful. Yeah, that's oh, a lot. It's weird. That's a lot. Like, Does she have nicknames growing up? Yeah. I love the amount of stages. It's gorgeous. But I know. Does she have any nicknames? Yeah, she uh, she went with Stacy. Stacy. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, did she go with she Anna like, or did she go with St- like yeah. the others? Other and one, then yeah. she do, She did do like a. She went through like a Stacia phase, mm-hmm. and I liked that. I, was I like, think oh, Stacia phase is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm like that's like kind of hot. Yeah, that's <laughs> sexy. Mom, I was like sexy batch. <laughs> but they, like, is she younger? Yeah, she had uh, my oldest sister, Steph, at 19. Oh, okay, so yeah, she's and younger. And then okay, Britt nice. at 20, me at like 22 or 23. Wow. Yeah, <gasps> so she got us all out Oh my God. <laughs> pretty, pretty early. early. Yeah. And my mom had me at 33. See, that's, that's normal. Like, yeah, but nowadays. I, that, I feel like yeah. back then they were probably like, bitch, you better hurry up. I don't know, because where she was from, because she had, she had a husband before my dad. Okay. So she had, she had a first husband. Um, they didn't have kids, but... I don't know. She's from Detroit. They were, I don't know, her, my uh, grandma, like her mom and my grandpa, they were remarried like three times. Yeah. It really wasn't that big of a deal. And yeah. I think she was, she said, she's like, I was ready at like thir- my thirties to have children. I wanted a family. I knew what I wanted. I manifested it. I wrote a lot. I was like, go, Aww. good for you. She's like, you can do that. I was like, Man, easier said than done. <laughs> like, I've been trying to manifest. I was like, I've been trying, and I keep being these fuck boys. I was like, I promise. Dude. I keep putting it out there. She goes, you have to make a list. Yeah. And enough with these lists. I know. <laughs> I'm like, list. I already got a to-do list. And I know. on that is manifest. Right. <laughs> it's just like inception of lists. So, truly. A lot of shit to do. Truly. I bought a book on uh, manifesting. Not the secret. <laughs> That was a fun phase, right? Oh, my God. Um, But I bought a book that isn't, like, cliche. Like, it's, like, there's – it's by, like, Roxy something. It Mm -hmm. it just came out maybe in the last year or two. And I hate the title because it's just, like, on it, on the cover. Like, I don't want to read it in public because it's just, like, manifest seven steps to living your best life. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. But (laughs) – it is pretty good. On the subway, I, I can see people look at it like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they're like, this bitch. Like, <laughs> you get that from TikTok? Yeah, right? <laughs> no, I don't even know. I think I was watching the Today Show. I'm very guilty of watching the Today oh, Show. Oh, wow. I just love Hoda. No, no, I, I do. I do love I Hoda's do love those shows. Bitch. I do I do love those morning shows. Yeah, they yeah. just, like, they're positive. Mm. They, like, get you in the, like, zone to, like, get things done. Like, yes. It's just, like, and it's two, like, <laughs> women. It's, like, Hoda and Jenna. Oh, yeah, I love and they're this. just, like, ready to rock. <laughs> and I'm so like, cute. yeah. <laughs> they have a new song. It's like, so get up. <laughs> so I'm not a Wait, singer. Wait, this is so funny. <laughs> it's like it's my like, weird. I know, I know people that like the morning shows and all that. It's but usually I never... moms. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right here, brother. <laughs> right here. I didn't see that coming. I, yeah, it's a weird, it's like my guilty pleasure, you know? Some people, it's like the Bachelorette. And I'm like, nah, today's show. That's great. <laughs> I can do the Bachelorette a little. I couldn't do this season. 
I The yeah. Bachelor, I couldn't do it. I think I watched <laughs> it in uh, college mm-hmm. more so. Um, the Bachelorette, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was also like living that show. Living there. that show. Yeah, and yeah. all the girl, all my like story sisters. Yeah. They should have we like all, a college edition of they that lo- show. Oh, they the, would. The ratchetist. <gasps> And that's so <laughs> smart. Honestly, though, those girls are so young. They could Not to marry. They're getting just very to young. Date. Oh, just a date. That's because, cute. Because in college, you, you get in those phases of just like hooking up with people. Yeah. And it's like your constant hookup, but you're mm-hmm. not like together. I know. I was like, oh, you had a boyfriend? I was like, I never had a boyfriend. I had one guy had in one college. Really good friend. <laughs> <laughs> that we, I hung out with four nights a week. Yeah. Went out to the bars with, got drunk with, hooked up with, but we weren't together. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a weird unspoken thing. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, you and George. His name was George. You and George. I was like. Curious George. Yeah. He was so <laughs> gay. He was very handsome. But, he was <laughs> but like we weren't to- On my birthday, he bought me Starburst. Oh, that's nice. But like, that's hilarious. <laughs> my mom was like, that's nice. He thought of you. <laughs> he was literally just at 7-Eleven. I know. He's and like, I was like, oh, fuck, right, it's her birthday. birthday. <laughs> Yeah, let me get a oh, sale on this Starburst. <laughs> that works. Freaky came over. I got you something. You got me something? It pulls out a Starburst. At that point, just get an iTunes gift card. Like that Just was... something else. Just a $5 iTunes would have been better. Remember You're that? right. My $5 grandma? iTunes would have been better than a Starburst. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it was probably more expensive, $5. The Starburst was probably $2.99. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. You're a fruity bitch. I love you. <laughs> like, like, he knew it was gluten. He because I sleep over at his house, and he never had like gluten free options or anything in his house to eat. Mm. So we'd smoke after the bar, the club, whatever. And and I get so munchy. The munchies. I lost so much weight in junior year just because I was n- I was partying, and I was dancing, Starburst. and I didn't because I was on this new medication. I didn't drink junior year, so I was wow. the I was a designated driver. I would drive everybody. So I wasn't drinking. I was just dancing. I had the best time. I was out here dancing. The best music was like around that time. I had the best time. And then we drive. I drive us home. And then we'd all smoke with his roommates. All the he was in a, a fraternity, so we'd all smoke. And then. I had no snacks. Oh. There was no snacks. Mm. So then I we'd hook up and either. I'd pass out and I'd wake up so oh. hungry. Mm. But I was like, look at me. <laughs> I was like, this uh. is great. I'm not getting the munchies. I'm not drinking alcohol. Like, I was saving a lot of calories. Yo, seriously. Yeah, and I was just dancing all the night away. Dude, the dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Van Halen, R.I.P. <laughs> I got Cheeto on there. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Five second rule. I was probably <laughs> out there for a few minutes. Um, I miss dancing. Yes. I feel like people don't dance anymore. Oh, I what love dancing fuck? so much. It's so fun. I love it. I love dancing it. dancing now? Like, where, um, where are the spots? What's the hats? What's the four on one? So I don't really do, like, there's no we, time. We got it. Oh, is we it time? A, a oh my god! Clock. This might be. Uh, this might be. This might be it for me because I feel. As soon as I, I talked about your uh, nephew owning a chip factory, I was like, "This is me talking bullshit." <laughs> I was like, "What Harrison are Harrison will be a chip connoisseur." <laughs> I know. I'm like, please let me know. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Lord. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, I love dancing. I want to go dancing. <laughs> I want to go dancing now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna cut this early because we gotta dance. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta go dance. Remember that fucking uh, Dane Cook special a long time ago? He was like, I, I loved him when I was younger. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, if, everyone did. He I was, don't know if that was the hottest. Like, yeah. Got me in his stand up. I think Whose Line Is It Anyway actually might have been. Really? Like, that yeah. was one that, that's I the guy who stand up? I used <gasps> to tape it on VHS. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and I'm not I even that, that old to like say that. But no, like, no, no. I think v- we yes. just weren't advanced. As we a were family. VHS. <laughs> no, no. I, we, I okay. had a videotape of V. It was all VHS. Yeah, right? Well, cheers to oh, I don't know what that sound was. Oh, my God. Do you see me? <laughs> You're like, ASMR? <laughs> I was like, wait. Who's doing that vacuuming next door? <laughs> cheers. I love it. Cheers. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh. I might bring Cheetos out to a bar and just chase with them. Because once you that. Honestly, if you brought those out to a bar, it'd be like bringing pencils to middle school. <laughs> Everyone would be like, oh, a Cheeto. Right? Can I have a Cheeto? Or like gel pens on the bus. Oh, gel pens were the best. Remember that shit? Mm-hmm. I used to feel so cool. I met Lisa Frank. I thought Lisa Frank? Lisa Frank heard the folders and binders and pens. You don't remember that? If you look up Lisa Frank. <laughs> Is she Jewish? 
I don't think she. I don't think she might be. Am. <laughs> but like that's all. That's all we bought in early two thousands. Was like it was like the dolphin. Oh, is it the really colorful? The colorful. Mm-hmm. And now the big that puppies. I look, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, that yeah. I look back, I'm like, yo, that bitch was tripping balls. No, and she I was love her. truly. I love her. I even wish, more. I think Lisa Frank. So much He's stuff so is making frank. a comeback. Lisa Frank's making a comeback, dude. It's all making a comeback. She should just throw that shit on a t-shirt these days. People, people would wear it. it. Yeah, oversized t-shirt with the. Pe- mm-hmm. Oh my god, Gen Z would. Oh, no, 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 they would love oh, that. Oh, they would love it. You're <laughs> they so would, right. They, they would eat, eat that, that up. Right up. <laughs> it probably yep. is out there. They would love that. If not, we're gonna start doing it. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, guys, remember that math folder you had? <laughs> now it's on a t-shirt. <laughs> Like, that'd be dope. No, it's on a teach. I, I would, would buy it. it. Yeah. I would buy it, too. Nostalgia, man. It's yeah. a big factor. I know. We love nostalgia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to be obsessed with the dolphin ones because I had a weird <laughs> dolphin those girls that, Yeah. Okay, you're one of those girls. <laughs> okay. At least I wasn't a horse girl. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Sorry, Tori. <laughs> I know she was. You're right, because there was horse girls. Horse girl, Land or sea, bitch. And there was... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't fuck with any of them. No. I didn't. No. Okay. I'm I very proud of myself. I didn't, I didn't come out of the closet as a dolphin as girl. As a dolphin girl. Like Did you have was, that little dolphin sculpture in your Yes. Room? Yeah. So like you would only know once you come to my house and like go in my room and then you're like, oh fuck. But like Dolphins I already solidified everywhere. the friendship so you couldn't get away. Wait. <laughs> my best friend was also a dolphin girl. What 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 was this? No one's talked about this. Why were we so obsessed with the dolphins? They were pushing dolphins (laughs) on young girls in the early 2000s. I don't know why. Dolphins were everywhere. Lisa Frank had dolphins. Everyone had that dolphin sculpture. My best friend had that dolphin sculpture. Was it the one with the two? The two coming up. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) They didn't My friend quite had a mural. Touch. My friend had a mural. There's a lot of sexual tension between those two <laughs> statue dolphins that will never have a comforter? touch. Did it have a comforter with the dolphin? Oh, yeah. Him? Fuck yeah. I also had a, Mary had a little lamb comforter, so you can't <laughs> judge me. No, this I dolphin shit bitch. is hilarious. I no, love, one we have, no one's talked about this. Yeah. Like, I I don't know what it was either. I've since strayed from the dolphin. Oh, that'd be great <laughs> if a man comes over and sees dolphins everywhere. Could you imagine? Like, yeah, and even today, my bedroom, I got that statue right next to my bed. So they know. <laughs> that when I have sex, it's just like... <laughs> Honestly, though, if you look at it, it screams like 90s, 2000s. Like, it yeah. screams. I wonder where that is. Like, it definitely. Where is everyone's dolphins? Where in the fuck are the dolphins? <laughs> I'd save the dolphins. Hashtag it. <laughs> Bring back D. It is very dolphins. strange that that was such a hit. It was. It's a weird animal to capitalize on, especially because they're like. Basically, little aliens, and they're super smart, and it's they not just like hump we see that. everything. Yeah. It's not like it's a d- like a dog, maybe where you see doggies. Yeah, like I, or I don't turtles. think I've ever seen a dolphin in real life. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I know they're real. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen a fin. You know, and I'm like, there it is. And they, like, jump so graciously because they're just such gorgeous but animals. But at seven, it had to be all over your room yeah. or you cannot live. Yeah. I'm like, Natchi a wild. Put it on, Mom. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, uh, David Attenborough just singing me to sleep talking about fucking dolphins. I'm, I'm shocked that they, <laughs> these dolphins. I'm shocked there wasn't a dolphin, like, hero movie. Like yeah, there, there was. There was? No, it was a whale movie. Never mind. Yeah, Free it was Willy. A whale, right? It was a whale, yeah. The killer whale. Free the killer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was about a whale. Well, was but cute. was there any dolphin? I don't know. I feel Even like Little Mermaid, there was no dolphin, huh? They, they're they not represented. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins need more exposure. Representation. What? Like, Maybe they uh, wouldn't be endangered. No, they're not endangered. They fuck so much. Oh, they're not? They're not endangered species? They're like sex animals. You know I've this, heard about right? this. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're like the only other, or, well, not the only other, but like... They're pretty up what there. What a few species who just, like, fuck for fun. Not Good just, for them. Not just to procreate, yeah. <laughs> Dude, have you seen those videos of, like, a dolphin yeah, just, like, intense. humping it's a very bitch? Intense. Like a human girl? <laughs> <laughs> if nine year old you could see sex. you right now. If nine-year-old you could see you right now. <laughs> It's a thing. There was like this chick in the water. It was a video that came out maybe like five, six years ago. And you know how people swim with dolphins and shit. Mm -hmm. And that used to be my dream. (laughs) 
<laughs> but now it's not because I feel like it's kind of fucked up, especially after fucking uh, Blackfish or whatever the fuck. What's uh, that? That documentary that came out about. Oh, I didn't. World I didn't. Shit. I didn't watch it. <gasps> Yo, it's terrifying. I, know, look, I heard it was spooky. The fact that any mm -hmm. like level-headed individual would want to get into a large fish tank with a killer whale <laughs> and, like, give it a treat like it's a fucking dog. But even, like, a killer whale being in a fish tank sounds I awful. Do. Like, just hearing that itself sounds like, why is there even a killer whale in a fish tank? And it says killer in its name. Like, you got to be suicidal. I don't know. Because what like happened to I, it? Did, did something happen? In that dog? Y yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to watch S it. Uh -uh. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Yeah, so just oh, so no. you're prepared. Okay, what happened? And then a dolphin came to rescue. <laughs> <laughs> I a dolphin wish. came from the sky. I, yeah. <laughs> then it started raining dolphins. She got weird. Um, it was just like your room, raining dolphins. <laughs> yeah. And then I showed up. <laughs> that In was my, my bathing suit. That was my, my first on. cameo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my onesie with like the weird flowers on it. Um, no, yeah, the guy, the diver, the worker there, whatever, mm -hmm. who... Uh, I don't know, built a rapport with this whale, which is just I just stupid built a to rapport. even think. What the heck? A you friendship? You're not friends with it. Yeah. Like, they were like, he trained with him a lot, I guess. And uh, another girl was on it. I'm probably getting this wrong. But the gist was that uh, they were doing a show. And it so it was, like, I think it was in front of people. Oh, no. I don't know. I could be making this up. But regardless, she jumped in. He jumped in, whoever. And uh, the whale, like, came in and, like, wasn't, like, fucking around. Like, it was, like, pissed. Oh. And it, like, took the person and, like, dragged them down to the bottom <gasps> to, like, drown them. Yeah. And then they were trying to come back up. And then it dragged him back down and was, like, charging. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. The Ooh. video is horrendous. Like, it's so That's spooky, scary to watch. That sounds very spooky. Yeah. It was, like, not yeah. okay. And it's like, oh, did the whale wake up on the wrong side of the bed that day? <laughs> no, the whale's in the no, fish tank. No, it's just a killer <laughs> whale. Doing killing things, doing it's na doing its natural yeah, shit, and then, the, and then the whale gets punished for. Oh, being they punished the whale. <laughs> yeah, they started whipping it. No, no. <laughs> I was like, do they punish the whale? No, <laughs> put I in time out. I can't tell. I I don't know what happened. I have to. to that, I'll have to, to watch it. I don't know if they like insane. let it free or if they like put it down. I don't even know Oof. how you put down a whale. That's got to be a lot of drugs. That's terrible. Oh, but even putting down a whale for that, like yeah, like it's not their. You're <sighs> in their territory. Does the person live? I think they died. I think that's why. Oh, like, oh, that's why it was that spooky. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that whole thing is bad. I think that's why they covered it up. Oh, that's and, like, why they sea wanted World to getting all crazy about okay, it. Okay, I see now because there was a death. Sea spiracy doc. There's a lot. Of I get the sea spiracy one. I yeah. heard about. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because like I grew up on the Jersey Shore. Yeah. I grew up. I'm 40 minutes from the Jersey Shore. My my bubby, my grandma had a house in Atlantic City. Like we, you know, we'd always Yo. go. I fucking love AC. AC? I'm going there tomorrow for a show. I lose a lot of money I there. love it. <laughs> I love AC. People shit on AC. I, I love AC. Time. It's the I best time. There. I went there for my 24th birthday. Oh, yes? No. Yeah. Where did you stay? Do you remember? It was such a random last minute oh, thing. I love it. I don't know. I did like an Airbnb, but it was in oh, a hotel. Oh, how fun. So I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like someone's condo. They're just renting out. They do that there. Because my yeah. grandma had like, um, it was like a timeshare type thing that was like off the shore, but... It was right in Atlantic City. Like you go, it was like five minutes into an AC. Ugh, but it's the, the it is the best. But I grew up at the shore. I hated the sea. I hated the beach. I hated the, the feel of the sand, the water. Ugh. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I'd be like, can I just go back and sleep in the house? And my mom's like, really, really, really. And I'm like, or oh, I love the pool. I love a pool. But the beach, I was like. This is spooky. I was yeah. like, there's a lot out there. We don't know, dude. They say. So, like, in Florida and stuff, they said if you're, like, in the ocean, you're in Florida, and you're mm -hmm. in the ocean, if you get to just waist deep, you are already in the zone of, like, a bunch of sharks. Like, you probably, like, they pass by. And Whoa. You know. And I was, like, waist deep? I'm, like, diving in that bitch. I'm swimming. I'm, like, right. going over the waves. I love waist the Waist deep is nothing. Yeah, and I was, like, waist oh. Waist deep is nothing. So I've been canoodling with sharks. I see that. No dolphins. <laughs> fucking bullshit your favorite sharks kind of look like dolphins. <laughs> I, I know right you, you close your you eyes imagine i'm just on <laughs> spring break at like tampa a dolphin <laughs> i'm like look at it i just try to ride it it's a fucking great way it's, like, it's, it's a shark like she had it coming <laughs> don't save that right girl. it's a shark i don't know i was obsessed with i feel like when you're younger i would i don't know about you but like young girls when they're i, I was obsessed with like titanic 
Oh. Certain things you're just like obsessed with, like I the love dolphin shit. Titanic. I, I like, love the Titanic. I for some reason learning about the Titanic. I could tell you so many facts about this. Did you for go some to reason. the exhibition? exhibit? Yeah. I didn't go to this one. I went to the one. I went to the one in Michigan and the one in Philadelphia. I never been to the one in. Oh New York. wow! So you're hopping. With the show, is it the I same thing it. every time? I or don't is know. It I might check this one out. Yeah, my little I cousin and I love it. Yeah, you. <gasps> it sounds cool. Because everyone's like, "Okay, Riley, we get it." I'm like, "No, I love the Titanic." No, it's so fucking dope. And it's remember, very cool. w- back to VHS. Yeah. Remember when it was two the tapes two tapes and it cut off at the most like incremental part. I'm yes. like, "Put the next one in, Dad." Wait, what was like, your favorite? Which one? Because you can tell a lot about a person. Ooh. Which which, okay, which yeah. one was your favorite tape? The first one or the second one? I think uh, I think the second one. No, oh, you like that's, the second that's one. That's when all the action. That's when everyone dies. That's when everyone dies. Yeah, and yeah. I love death. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's. I mean, I guess I could say you know the end of the first tape was good just because like, yeah. you get the steamy car handprint. That scene. steamy car handprint. Oh. You get the you well. Know, first time you saw fly. it, do you remember seeing it for the first time? I do. I do. Do you remember seeing the steamy handprint and being like? Like, why is what it so is that? hot in there? What is that? <laughs> like, what is that? I literally did not put it together. Did not. I would remember I was watching with a bunch of friends at a sleepover, and we all watched that. I remember everyone being quiet. Like, we're all thinking. Wait, like, what? Does she need help? Is she <laughs> like, we didn't understand. I remember all of us being qu- like, it went to the next scene, and it, the whole room was quiet because I think we were all were like, wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> is she good? <laughs> Where the fuck is Rose? <laughs> That was her hand. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely her hand. That was her. I know her hand, right? Yeah, we were all like excited because they were getting all like kissy and touching. We were all like, yeah, like little like, preteen oh. girls, like ooh, ooh. And then they get in the car. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> What's happening? She looks like she needs assistance. Right. I'm like that doesn't look fun anymore. Yeah. Like, I love. Yeah. I, I don't love know it. what love is. <laughs> I don't think I like it. I liked her first husband. The the guy she was supposed to marry. Oh yeah, I loved him. Dude. I loved him. Yeah, it says a lot about. Yeah, you love that toxic man. Right man. <laughs> 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 Nothing like a toxic man in a tux. <laughs> On a ship. <laughs> On a ship. In the 19 whatevers. Because <laughs> I'm 12? not going to get that right. I think 1912. Yeah, teens. It was like April something, 1912, 1913. Oh, I think it was, yeah, 19. 19- April 12th, 1913? 19- I thought it was, oh, April 14th. 1912? Yeah, because my mom's <laughs> birthday is April 14th. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that's what the Titanic said. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's all I remember. Because I don't know you, Isn't Mom. it funny how we remember? My cousin's birthday was on the day World War II started. Oh, and yeah. I totally remember that for a test. You're like, what's up? <laughs> my little due day. Like, I remember that, like, first way. I'm like, oh, yeah. They, the World War II started. Like, that's such a weird, that's such a kid thing to do. Yeah, it is. I got to, that's how I remember things. So mm-hmm. I always got to attach You have to, to attach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, Titanic, man. Now I'm just thinking about it. I do the Titanic and the, the dolphins. That's just so funny. Yo. Oh, did you? Yeah, they, there were dolphins in Titanic. Remember, they're like, look at the dolphins, Jack. <laughs> they had pull in the '90s. Those dolphins. <laughs> God. Oh. oh God. I. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going about Titanic. No, you're good. I love. I, lo- I, I can see it. it. I was like, okay, you want to go I on? Lo- I'll like. I love it too. I remember when I first learned. I don't know how soon after I saw the film that I learned that, like, Jack and Rose were just a fabrication. Oh, you thought they were actual I thought, people on the like, Titanic? I was like, oh, this is a true story. But it's crazy because they do add in everyone else is pretty much yeah, like fiction, the, uh, non-fictional. The yeah. violinists that are playing yeah. when it's sinking, that was a real right. thing. And the character is, what's her name? Um, Margaret, Br- what's her name? Uh Catherine Bates's character, yeah, Catherine Bates' character. She's, What's her? I can't remember I know, I her, name her name right now. Too, but she's a real person. Something, too. Mar- something. Oh, it's a great name. Yeah, she's a real person. Yeah, the guy like Andrew. Oh my god, I think it's the alcohol. I can't remember anyone's names right now. The guy who oh. who built the ship. Yeah, it, he was there. Yeah, the captain, Captain Smith. Yeah, he was, and he looked like the picture of actual Captain Smith. Yeah, so it's like they all were pretty much on point with everyone, and then they're like. Here's Rose and Jack. Yeah, we're like, we need that hot, steamy car scene. Right. We're like, is this a real... Is this a, there were probably someone like Rose and Jack. They're <laughs> out of all the people on that boat. Someone had to have a love story. I think James Cameron was like, I just need an anchor to revolve the story. To revolve the story around. And you need a love story regardless. And it's those like, two people, like Leonardo DiCaprio and... Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. They were so hot. So hot. Yeah. So young. 
Yeah. Like, you ever see the behind the scenes photos? They're so cute. Of them on set? Yeah. I'm like, and they're so friends now. They're so sweet. And I'm like, wow. And they talked about each other all the time, like how yeah. much respect they have for each other. I'm like, oh, you want that, like, in I wonder if they ever professional. Fucked. Oh. Do you think that Stephen Carson I bet is they legit? like. I bet they, like, <laughs> made out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, one they night, they probably got drunk. And, like, or, like, it was, all the cast members were out and partying. And they probably were like, we got it again. Mm, but again. Get- but, but. Yeah, don't feel pressured. <laughs> yeah, this is our really? last, this is our the last, last one. one. Okay, yeah. this last one, I'll do a little one. The okay. last one, I did a little just one. The, the, and I feel the, like it's it's just enough. Yep. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> it's just enough. Wait, do you know how many dogs just are the on two? the Titanic? How many dogs were yeah. on the Titanic? I feel like, because uh, my day job, I, I, uh, we, uh, I worked for like a publishing company, and we just like, also push out... Um, content like pop culture like bu- it's kind of like buzzfeed but like oh, very a little cool. more with okay. a moral compass <laughs> in mind <laughs> um <laughs> so i'm not a total asshole <laughs> but uh we do a lot of like stories about behind the scenes of movies and titanic was one of them and i feel like we did do a dog thing on mm-hmm. it how many dogs were on there so there were this is crazy that i remember this I'm but there excited. was 12 dogs that were on the titanic that's it 12 i thought you were gonna say like 200 <laughs> people probably snuck in dogs also but, this, in but there 19- was like documented there was documented 12 dogs do you know how many dogs died after this? It sank. There's twelve. There's twelve dogs. How many died? Now you see a ship's going down. Hundreds of hundreds of people are dying. I feel like they're slipping and sliding. How many dogs died? How many dogs died out of twelve? Um, Nine. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say twelve. <laughs> you were saying twelve. No, but the thing is, that means how many? 10, 11, 12. Three lived. Did they just doggy paddle? <laughs> <laughs> like Jack and Rose couldn't fit on the same thing. Oh, the but door. three dogs. Yeah, three dogs got away. That's crazy. Is that crazy? That documented three dogs. This is what I. This is what I've learned. But, but I don't happened? know. They were just. Like I learned this a long sw- time ago. Swimming around and then they, they probably like were tiny enough. Up. They probably got oh. like held in a. But that's crazy. Yeah, there's no huskies. No, surviving. no huskies are surviving They're that. Just little shits that like people. Yeah, know. little like tiny the rich people. You gotta have a tiny dog yeah, for that. Pomeranian. A tiny dog. But twelve dogs were on the Titanic and three lived. I'm pretty wow. sure. I'm like I'm like pretty sure. Yeah, pretty and now I'm over here like <laughs> this is a fact. <laughs> I gotta look this up after. I'm gonna Riley be works at Wikipedia. <laughs> Literally, Where every anyone time, can put anything. Every as a time fact. I wrote a paper in middle school, it's always si- like Wikipedia, remember? and my teachers are like, "You can't do Wikipedia." Oh, I'm like, dude. "Why not? It's Wikipedia." Dude, remember like citing sources and like oh, essays? I hate citing sources. I, I hated, hated citing that. sources. I was like, I don't care because I made this up. Fuck you. <laughs> I'd be like Webster. <laughs> and like this, the dictionary this is, is not, not a it. source. <laughs> I was like, yeah, prove it. <laughs> I'm like, you're being a bitch. Look that up. <laughs> so bad, dude. I love it. All okay, right, ready? Last, last, last one. one. We got this. Yeah. Oh, look how cute you are. Mine's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it doesn't get easier. No. You just think so it rude. would. It's so rude. You think that it would. Yeah. Do you want any? Oh, you can't have vodka. I'm over here. That's how much. That's how much. Like I'm you like, want chases of vodka? <laughs> you want chases of vodka? You good? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. No. Whew. No, I'm chasing with my Cheetos. I think it's a thing. I'm going to make like a Cheeto Good shot. for you. I think, honestly, chasing with food is better than chasing with can you imagine, though, like being out at a bar and you're like, hang on one second and you just like pull out a fucking <laughs> hot dog? <laughs> Hang on, Gordy does that. You see him and his hot dogs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that kid literally has raw Such dogs a sweetheart. in his pocket and will oh just my God. whip them out and start eating them like mid show. So wild. <laughs> Gordy is a wild man. So wild. I'm going to get him on the podcast. I haven't podcast seen him in a while. Soon. He would be fun. Yeah. You yeah. know, this whole thing would be done. Oh, yeah. This whole thing would be done. I feel like I'm a, we wouldn't I'm a pussy. Start, that whole thing. We wouldn't even start recording in the You'd be like, oh, done. alcohol. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom real fast to come back. It's done. You're like, Gordy, it's for the podcast. He's like, I'm ready now. (laughs) (laughs) And he just becomes completely coherent. (laughs) I'm jealous of friends who can just be like, oh, alcohol. I'm like, oh, have have fun. I like being a little lightweight because then it's just cheaper to go out. Yeah, no, it's great. But it's weird because that's why I I tend to like over drink and then be very hungover because like I Mm. always need something in my hand. Oh, so it's more of a social thing. You just need something to be holding. Uh, yeah, I don't okay, know why. understandable. That's like I feel like a lot of people vape and stuff, and yeah, I don't smoke vape. cigarette because like 
I used to smoke cigarettes for so like when really? I'd be outside, I wouldn't be smoking. Yeah. This was years and years ago. Yeah. I felt with comics, I was like, I need something in my, I need something. It's just a, yeah, I don't know. It's I definitely think a mecha, it's definitely a safety thing where it's like you feel safe holding something. Yeah. But, um, okay, that makes sense. That's understandable. It's like Ricky Bobby. I'm like, I don't know what to do with my, my hands. <laughs> Where do I put these? That's why I like to, if I get drunk, I'm like, I don't care with my hands. I'm going to dance. Yeah. yeah. And then and back, back to, to you know, dancing. Back to da- oh. Dancing with dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> That's our new podcast. Dancing with dolphins? <laughs> yeah, it's like dances with wolves, but instead of a Western, it's just a... 2002. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. There was a fucking... I just had a like flash. Yeah, I saw all um, of it. There was a dolphin movie like growing up. And I feel Wait. like it was that girl. No, no, I think that was a whale. Friends with it. I think it was a whale. <sighs> Seriously? I think it was a whale. Fuck. Oh. I'm, I think I know what you're talking about, and I think it might be you a know, whale. Like the blonde, cool surfer girl. Oh, right by the mermaid one? I was thinking of a different oh, one. Oh, not Aquamarine. I love that. Oh, girl, I love though. Aquamarine. That was the, I think that's <sighs> the only book I've ever read cover to cover. To that was a book? Day. Yeah. Aquamarine was a yeah, book. Yeah, I got it at the uh, Scholastic Book Fair. Oh, I love the Scholastic <laughs> Book Fair. Oh, Yo. that was the best day ever. It was. Fifth period of school, and you, at fourth period, you're like, like, Mom, I need mine! <laughs> you couldn't wait. Oh, I, I love that. I would use that. my lunch money on that shit. Oh, really? Fine books. Oh, man. I love Scholastic Book Fair. Was, oh, that was the best. It was so fun. All the Goosebumps. Goosebumps books, yeah. Mm-hmm. Goosebumps was awesome. Yeah. And it was crazy because, like, the cover was scarier than the book. Yeah. Or, uh, wait, did you uh, remember those, like, interactive covers with Animorphs? <gasps> yes. And it was, like, a hologram. Yes, 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 yes. That, like, and it'd be like, mm. You know what is? Those books, like, if I kept them on a weird side in my room, like, say if I put them against the, like, my bookshelf and I was sleeping and the light mm-hmm. hit it by accident yeah. I would see and it it would be like oh that freaked me out like I'm a bat like, now. <laughs> no. like no, no. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> no. stay a teen kid it's so close much your eyes, close your eyes close your eyes Dude, but that's that's what would be scary sometimes some of it those do you, did you um ever when you were younger go to west coast videos or blockbuster blockbuster was the shit. you did blockbuster yeah. okay we had west coast and it was i never had that it was just like literally like blockbuster you have hollywood video like hollywood video okay all but right. it was just all the type of the same where you go in and the tapes and <sighs> but that shit got i remember being younger and i would never turn one aisle because if i turned on that aisle i would see it Oh. And it was that cover with um, Murray. What's yep. his name? Um, the Tim Curry. Yeah, Tim Curry. Yeah, you're talking about the clown. The cl- the first one, yeah. not the new yeah. one. Is it Tim Curry? Is I think it might be Tim Curry who played the who played it. The first one. It because the new one is um what's his name and he's fantastic. Yeah, but this is I have such like a crush on him. I know he's so hot. I have yeah, such a crush. Like, why am I attracted I such, to the whole a family? Clown. Is so cute and he's so handsome and he's such a good actor too. He is. He's, he's fantastic. He's underrated. He's fantastic. He was just in that movie. Um. But the girl staying at the Airbnb. Oh, yes. And mm-hmm. he was a creep in that, too. But, but he, he was like a creep. But he wasn't really. He wasn't a creep. Barbarian. Barbarian. Yeah. And he killed it in there. As soon as yeah. he opened the door and he popped out, I was like, yes. Yeah. And then when he, spoiler, but when he when he died, I was like, no. I know. I was so mad. I was, I was like, like, no. He's always dying. I was so sad, but he's great in it. But when I was in West Coast videos, that cover on the VHS the of white it. And, with, and it was red. And he had his, like nails out on the thing scratching it and i remember being like, like don't yeah. don't turn that corner because if you turn them but i wouldn't tell anybody in my head Isn't as a seven-year-old dream? don't yeah. turn that corner yeah. come on He's riley let's know. go this way no 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 i'm good i'm just staying here but you wouldn't tell anybody because you're like a, ki- a kid yeah. you're like oh it's weird i feel like as a kid you had a lot of secrets you know oh yeah you keep with yourself everything. with yourself with your and I'm like, <laughs> why? Why did I lose yes. that? Why do I tell everyone everything now? I know. I t- <laughs> I, yeah, I talk too much. I yeah. talk. Way too, I try to be mysterious, and it doesn't work. It yeah. does not work. I, I say know. everything. It's. Weird. I think it's because the older you get, the more you're like, I just don't give a fuck. Sure. And that Here might be my it. Like you don't care what people. Maybe you care what people think. Because when I was a kid, if I told anyone about the it thing. It would make it real, yeah. or that is that so is, that's it too. Yeah, on point. It would make like that would shit give real. It life. You get that's it. Yeah. You give it life. Yeah. If I don't talk about it, about turning around that corner and seeing it, yep. it's it's then my it's thing. No one thing. has to talk yeah. about it. We don't do, mm-hmm. don't feed into it. No, we're not gonna think that, about it. Literally, don't feed into it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I. That's so funny you say that because like when I was growing up, like my we moved around a lot, mm. and then. uh 
when my parents divorced, like we were living in this townhouse and it was two floors and I, we lived there for maybe like four or five years and I was convinced that this place was haunted and I had some pretty good evidence, and really? then, but I never said anything to every, anyone. Like I was like, you kept that in, yeah. Oh. And then come to find out, like nowadays, like maybe a couple years ago, like Christmas, some shit, mm-hmm. like we're all drinking. My, me and my family were talking, and we were like, oh yeah, remember Northbrook? It was the like complex that it was in. Right. And I'm like, yeah, that place was like really fucking creepy. And they're like, my sister was like, wait, why are you saying that? And I was like, I don't know. I was so like scared to go upstairs like i would come oh, look home. at you talking about it yeah, yeah, yeah i would come home from school early because my sisters were in high school i was mm-hmm. in middle school so i would get home before them and i would make a beeline to the couch my parents are both working make a beeline to the couch so my back was to the wall and i would wash the front door and i would put the tv on and i would just wait <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this is stressful as fuck yeah because uh, there was like that's also when the ring came out and like some oh, okay. haunted my life yeah, yeah, yeah but i was like I just felt like a weird presence there. Ugh. And then any time that, because, like, that my mom apparently felt that, too, and, like, unbeknownst to me at the time, she asked the uh, woman who, like, was in the office and ran the complex, whatever, like, mm-hmm. if anyone died there, and, like, she was being really sketchy about it. And I was like, huh. So then my oh, mom you hear everything as a kid, so you're keeping that in now? Yeah, so oh I'm my like, God. oh, my God. And it was always just, like, it, it wasn't a completely negative presence Mm -hmm. but it was a very like loud presence something there and i was like freaking out like i like as i was probably like 10 or 11 and i was just like i don't want to be alone here i will not go upstairs if i'm the only one at home like it was crazy and i would like run down the stairs if i had to go up quick to like get something and I run down and I I would like look and be like you're not getting me like it was, <laughs> like I was like trying to be strong right 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 and oh my and god and then now though so my mom used to do that and she inquired and I found that out I'm like that's crazy and then my dad was like yeah it was always a weird vibe but I didn't want to scare the kids and then Britt and stuff my sisters they were like oh my god yeah one time like I was home alone and then the radio turned on uh uh-uh. yeah and then like another uh-uh. time. Like, the lights went on upstairs, but no one was up there. Like, crazy, like, door <gasps> slant, like, weird shit. And I was like, I live in um, the Amityville Horror House. And you're 10, 11, and I feel like when you're 10, it feeds you your know, imagination. When you're a kid like that, not only does it feed your imagination, I think you pick up on shit okay, yeah, that you you're wouldn't. you're less biased. You're less, a, you're, right, you're less yeah. biased. There's not as much, there is shit going on in your life, but, like, I think you're just more open to things. You're not yeah. so closed off. You're, like, in tune. You're in tune in what shit's going on. Yeah. And I think, like, as you get older, you start to, like, you still sense it when you go somewhere, but you don't know what it is, and you just, like, shrug it off. And yeah. it's, like, but as a kid, you will be, like, what the heck am I feeling? Yeah. What is going on? Well, I'm not going in that room again. Yeah. Because as soon as you felt it. Yeah. And I feel like... Oh, isn't it crazy? Because you sometimes feel like that with people. You're like, mm-hmm. something is not right. Yeah. Well, give it a second chance. As a kid, you're like, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. I'll <laughs> fuck with you. Because right. you, you see stupid ass <laughs> brush. Get back on the bus. Because <laughs> you see kids and they're just like, ah, and they're like playing with that birthday kid. We, they're we're like, not why? friends. You're like, eh, it's, it's just vibe. not a the vibe. <laughs> you didn't know vibe. It's as the energy, a kid. right? So you're just like, I just don't. I, just, I, I didn't know. know. It's not happening. We're not friends anymore. Yeah. And you're like, why? <laughs> We're not friends. Okay. I can't I guess. It. And I feel like part of it is like they pick up on things that was it when I moved in my second. So I, I grew up in Lumberton, New Jersey, and we lived there until I was 14. Then we moved mm. and we picked this house and it was a very cool house. Very cool. Trees everywhere. Very. It's a beautiful home. First day we moved in, we're all unpacking, and I'm like, this house feels dark. It's a mm. dark house. I'm giving an ominous It's a dark energy. house. Our old house was very open and bright. Mm. This was dark. And I'm like, okay. My mom loved it. Cool. Um, we're all unpacking. It's me, my mom, and her friend. And my brother, I think, was away. My dad was at work. And uh, I remember I found a cross. I went oh. upstairs in was the bathroom. Down? Man, I don't remember. Damn. Because that's a problem. That's a bad problem? Oh, Shit. yeah. Well, I don't even know. If it's upside down, Well, it was on a devil. wall. It was on... Really? Yeah. Great. It was on, the, it was on the bathtub. It was just sitting there. It was a pink cross. And I'm like... Right. I'm like, oh, shit. 
mm, well, I can't throw this away because it's like something sacred. Yeah. And I grew up very pretty religious. So I'm like, I'm going to throw away a cross. So I yeah. come downstairs. And I'm like, hey, guys, there was a cross. What do I do with it? Dude, my mom was like, oh, I guess I'll bring it to like a church. Yeah. I'll bring it to like something nearby. Just throw it in one of the boxes. Mm-hmm. It, hours go by. Whatever. My friend, my mom's friend leaves. My dad and brother come home. We're having dinner. Normal shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, the house. Talking about the house. Talking about the new school. And then um, my brother goes upstairs to go to our bathroom to shower. And I was like, oh, I wanted to shower. My mom goes, I know, I haven't told the story in a while. My mom goes, <laughs> my mom goes, uh, I was like, I want to shower. My mom goes, oh, I guess go to, go to, uh, your father's in my bathroom to shower where I found the cross. Okay. And I was like, okay, cool. So I go upstairs, brother Logan, he goes to the shower and I go down the hall to my parents' room and I go into the, sh- into the bathroom mm-hmm. and I go to the bathroom and I look down in the bathtub. No. The cross is there. No. Yeah. No. And it's still there to this day. Did your, so your mom brought it, dropped it off somewhere and it appeared? She hasn't, she hadn't moved it. I brought it downstairs. And I oh, asked my mom's friend's mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my mom's friend said, I didn't touch the cross. She's Jewish too. She says, I didn't have anything to do with the cross. I didn't touch it. My brother came home later. He's like, what cross? My dad goes, what cross? He was at work. My mom's like, I hadn't touched the cross. So we're like, who... Who moved the cross? So I told my mom, and she goes, so we're keeping the cross where it wants to be, <laughs> and we're not moving it. But the first year we were there, whoever was in our house and not like our mom, they would shut doors on her. They would shut, uh, like, dro- they would shut everything on her. It was kind of funny. I was like, Dude. this ghost does not fuck with you. I was like, maybe I talked to it. I was like, hey, we're just going to leave it here. I was just going to say, it's so weird. Because, like, in those, like, weird supernatural situations, and you know what's going down. You're not fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. You're not over, like, exaggerating. Yeah. And you're like, something's fucking funky here. Something doesn't feel right. You, like, that's my initial thing is, like, I'm like, all right. If they're opening up around me, I will open up. Right. If this if it move if this thing moves like, across, what? yeah. Are you, what's your game plan here? Right. Ghost. Are like, we, are you I got shit here? to do. <laughs> I was like, are you? Ha- I was starting high school the fr- the next week. <laughs> You're like, I'm going through. Puberty. I was like, I, I don't have time for you, ghost. <laughs> I was like, I have all this shit going on. And I remember, I wasn't even scared. I was not even scared. Yeah. No one was scared. We just were like, even my mom was like, we're just gonna leave it. Yeah. Just let it do. My dad thing. was like, someone moved it. My yeah. dad to this day was like, someone moved it. There's always, uh, yeah, yeah, in family, there's always He's that, like, someone, like uh, yeah. rational, logical Right, my brother laughed. He's yeah. like, you probably forgot to bring it down. Yeah. And I was like, guys, like, bitch, I, I brought this Because I feel like women have a better sense, sense of, of Yeah, that. I think you we're more open. Intuition. We're more open to it. And yeah. my mom, she's the same way. She'll be like, I'm not going to touch. She yeah. even said, she goes, we're leaving the cross. So in, in to this day, in my parents' bathroom, there's a pink cross. Stop. Yeah, I can take That's a picture. That's hilarious. So they yeah. never moved out of we, there we haven't moved there mm-hmm, we haven't moved there wow they so still you guys there. befriended the ghost they haven't fucked they haven't you know it I hasn't been active i don't i don't sleep well in this house so part of me is like i i feel like it's not it's fine i always say it's fine but like the old house my my dad made from scratch he built mm. and i'm like there was nothing there was yeah, like, I felt I like there was, was there more energy the yeah go. but this energy I, or the old ho- homeowners cut down a lot of trees all around the house and all the neighbors were mad at this n- at the guy before he yeah, moved why out. Did he, why did he do he that? He cut down all these trees and then pieced out and pieced out, and, and so he could see the house better. The the where we live is called Lane of Trees. It's all these houses. Oh, it's all these trees. It's gorgeous, but it's that's so weird. But I, my mom was like, I, I feel like it's giving negative energy. Yeah, because they're pissed about the trees, probably. Probably the probably the ghost is probably like you fucked with my house. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> right, you fucked with my that's house. That's crazy. Right. That's so weird, dude. All that, like, supernatural stuff is so interesting to mm-hmm. me. Especially, and I feel like, you know, it's weird because now that I'm thinking about, like, the Christianity cross thing and then Jewish. 
are there Jewish ghosts? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Because I'm we like, what it. do they do? They're like, Star <laughs> David, it looks the same up or down. Right, no, so we, we love it. <laughs> we could turn it around. You guys won't even know we're here. No, this like, is the cross is like a very like big thing where it's like, this is that. That's and then so spooky. upside down is devil. Ooh. So when it like falls off the wall and it like goes upside down. Oh, God. You're like, oh. It's this like a loose screw. Good. It's like, no. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I don't give a fuck if oh, it was the so carpenter spooky. or a devil. Like, See, God, that God. sounds more spooky to me than anything. And I'm not even, I'm not crazy. Christian, but like Jews have a whole world of that and it's a, I love it I yeah. find it so fascinating um there's a whole mysticism of Judaism there's a whole uh because there's no certain afterlife like when Jews when you die there's no growing up there was I never there was no hell like our, okay. our teachers were like you just die yeah and we're like what what do you mean? They're like, you kind of just go back into the earth. Like, there were so many different ideas of death that there was no heaven or hell. There was just death. Okay. That there is this like very cool idea of afterlife is a very cool idea of energy and spirits and mysticism and ghosts and is moon there and reincarnation in the jewish no no, no not so much you kind of just go back into the earth there's a lot of different ideas of what death is and if you ask like 10 different rabbis they'll probably give you a different idea of yeah. what it, or they'll is just be like well what is death and you're like this is not eh, helping is there a rebirth situation at all or no mostly or is it just, just like coming and you had mm -hmm. your time by you're coming back into the earth of which okay. you came out of all which right. is a beautiful concept as the same person or no, just like you're, you were created by the soil and you're going back into the so soil. So that's kind of almost like Buddhist and in a way. You know what? They kind of have a very interesting cross crossover, crossover yeah. a little bit of crossover, which I sometimes find peaceful in a it way. Is. It's a very it peaceful way because growing up I had friends who were Christian, Catholic, and they would sometimes talk about hell, and it yeah. just would freak me out. I, yeah, I... I'm not, I grew up Catholic. Mm -hmm. My dad's Irish. My mom's Italian. I, oh. We grew up Irish Catholic pretty much. And then once I was like old enough to make my own choices, they were like, you can come to church or not. And I was like, fuck mm. that. I'm sleeping in. I'm hungover. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, right, right. So then I kind of faded from the Catholic whole like vibe. And then my mom became just like Christian, which is a looser kind of Catholic, I guess. <laughs> um, and... I don't know. And now I'm just like kind of agnostic. Like I okay. just um Do you go to church sometimes or is yeah, it like yeah, like all the, the big the big ones? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I'm one of those like take a number. <laughs> it's Easter, I guess I'll go. I guess um, I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll like I don't practice anything in particular, but I do believe there's definitely something bigger controlling the right the situation like something beyond us that we can't even comprehend the energy is yeah just so like big, it's a very like massive. the even just frequencies of of people like i feel like sure. your intuition your instincts like where's it all coming from it's got to be a basis of mm. something internal that we just don't comprehend as a human species yet and then that's why i get like the manifest book i mean that's like a bad example but right. like just kind of tapping into like, I meditate a lot. I'll, I'll kind of just try to, like, match my energy. and It's so smart. It's so good because, you know, you don't realize how important that is to kind of honestly listen to your body. Yeah. Because for the longest time, like, I wouldn't listen to my body and – I would be feeling a certain way and I would just keep going and then mm -hmm. I would hurt my hurt my body for some way. Like it could be for anything. And yeah. you just you end up hurting yourself and it's like, why didn't I just listen to my body? Why just listen to my gut? Mm -hmm. Why didn't I listen to my intuition? Why didn't I just why did I go with when I said to myself, This is a bad move? Yeah. And you still went. What was saying that's a bad move? Yeah. What in you was saying that's a bad move? That's yeah. a lot of power. Right. And I don't think people realize how much power that is to be like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop what it's you're doing. It's gotta be coming listen from to that. somewhere. Right. Right. So I think meditation, I think that's fantastic. So, like, where yeah. is it coming from? It's so crazy to think about because, like, I, you know, obviously I grew up with the heaven hell thing. And I was yeah. like, that's fucking bullshit. Because, like, I don't think all people are inherently good or bad. Right. I think good people do bad things. And I think bad people can do good things. Mm. So I'm like, there's no, it's not so black and white. I think there's a very big gray area that that religion in particular kind of disregards. Yeah. That's, um, that, and maybe that's, they're that's trying the to point. make it easier to understand or 
you know, kind of right. just make the Ten Commandments like. You know, I, yeah, I think that's what uh, Heather when they say heaven. Okay, if you wanted, if you want to go to heaven, you have to be good. Yeah, it's a very simple. And for if you're kids, gonna be bad, you go to hell. It's a it's very easy, easy to get. Yeah, but to me, for as a kid hearing, like as a seven year old hearing my one of my neighbors and she was Christian, she was like, "Well, I'm gonna go to hell," and it felt so. It felt so bad, and it mm-hmm. felt so guilty as a seven-year-old to have this guilt. And that's okay if you believe in this. This is not knocking any of that. Yeah, but yeah. I felt bad for her yeah. that she had this, like, oh, I'm going to go to hell. And I was like, wait, what do you mean you're going you to go to hell? You can't be Become Jewish. <laughs> Dude, it's it's, fun, it's so funny because it's all the way around. <laughs> if you, if you, if you want to you be saved, don't be Jewish. Be a Christian. <laughs> Convert. They would always be like, convert, you're going to go to hell. And I was like, isn't that where you want us there, though? Like, yeah, do, you, it's do you like us that much? It's basically Florida. <laughs> I was like, you, do you like us? Do you want us to go to hell, uh, heaven with you guys? They go to heaven. They're like, the Jews are here? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> who, who the fuck bought Moshi? <laughs> and then Hitler's in hell like, hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> and everyone's like, is everyone here? What's happening? They're like, God damn, damn it. Right. Now I'm stuck with the dictators. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> it's very interesting, the whole concept. But uh, it is. yeah, you could go I, on for hours with this. It's yeah, very fascinating. Yeah. yeah, it is. I think, yeah. I So I'm just at a point in my life where I'm kind of like, I think it's a little, uh, I don't know, crazy to think that there's uh, nothing, you know? Right, the abs- like, like there's absolutely. Because then what's the purpose? I get FOMO. I re- that's, a, that's my one problem. I just... <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> if I died, I would get FOMO of the living. I would get so <laughs> bad FOMO. Like, damn! Like, I wonder what my grandkids are doing. I, that's honestly what I would do because I've I accepted sneak preview. <laughs> right? Like, I've accepted like being Jewish and like okay, like when you go in back into the ground and become the earth and energy, and I think that's a beautiful concept. Yeah. But then part of me is like, damn! But I want to go to like brunch with my friends. <laughs> like, you're like, can I just hover on right, a bitch? I <laughs> I'm like, that shit was so fun. <laughs> I would honestly just miss life. But other than that like very cool to come back to where you came out of yeah but yeah Yeah, no i think the whole circle of life aspect is cool yeah i was uh really into like these um uh this podcast uh (laughs) now i sound like such a loser because i already (laughs) saw the today show and now i'm gonna drop an oprah bomb (laughs) i love it but i love it my mom she's the influence i think because she watched oprah like every day growing up like yeah yeah yeah. obsessed Mm -hmm. and my um, mom and she she had some good shit going on, and uh, she has a podcast now, and it's like you know she has like oh su- yeah she oh has yeah like super soul Sundays, <laughs> like super <laughs> soul. that's great yeah, and um, she has a podcast for it, and I I'll like listen here and there. I'm not like a hard and true fan, but like mm. there's some topics of like people that I want to listen to. Like there's like Eckhart Toll, who's like this um, you know he's like a very afterlife kind of person. Uh, and he's super smart and just so interesting to listen to. But there was one podcast that she had, and I forget who the guest was, which sucks. Mm. But he basically was saying, like, there's his theory on the afterlife and the spiritual world, whatever. He's like, uh, there's levels to your soul. Sure. And he was saying that there was, like, I don't know, I forget the number, but, like, I don't know, 15 to 17 levels 15, 17. of a soul. But, like, people... Damn, it's like a Nintendo game. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what level am I on? <laughs> you know, six, got so many yeah. more to go. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Fucking Mario Kart. Right. Um, but I guess, like, he was saying the... What people inherently do is is what we just did. We compare the levels and being mm-hmm. like, oh, 17 is better than two. It's not. Yeah. It's just different. So instead of like a vertical range, it's a horizontal range of just sure. where oh, your okay. soul is In the spectrum kind of, yeah. Yeah, but you don't. It's kind of, it goes kind of in parallel with like a your past life situation and reincarnation idea. Very so cool. it's basically like whatever number of souls on the levels, but it's all like a flat thing. And he was saying, like, you know, like, he was talking to Oprah. I'm like, she's got to be a soul 17. That bitch knows everything. And he was like, no, like, she's a 12. Wait, he said that she's a 12? Yeah. And she That's was, pretty good, though. She 12? was like, get off my podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not higher than a 15. He's like, I'm But 12 here. is very good, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. And yeah. It, but it was so interesting to listen to because, like, you know, you've got to take it with a grain of salt, obviously. But, like, he was like, you know, sometimes the – 
body you're in, like the soul that mm-hmm. is in that, like, you know, just like holder is maybe a soul too. And you're there to make those mistakes of a soul too immature soul. Whoa. And you're doing this and that and the other. <laughs> and then that goes. And then like, it's not like you end soul two and go right to three. Like you could now jump to like five. Sure. And then learn a different lesson there. That makes you go back to four to advance you to seven. It's crazy. It sounds like a lot of math, but it's not. I'm making it a little more complicated. <laughs> no, I kind of see how you're doing. How you're doing but it. But it was but cool. That's, and it's well, like, very cool. And I'm like, so what the fuck happens when you like get to the end? Yeah, to seventeen, right? Yeah. And he's like, that's when you become a guardian angel. And I was like, whoa. Are you have responsibilities now? I'm like, yeah, I went through all this shit. I went through 17 <laughs> lives. I was a soldier. I was a prostitute. Right, now you, gotta, <laughs> now, now you help someone else out. I owned a bodega. <laughs> and now I got a guardian angel, all these bitches. <laughs> and great. they're like, that's your instinct. That's what's telling you, like, don't do that. Which is what it I was trying your to get past. Is your guardian oh. angel with all the knowledge of all your soul levels being like, hey, we've been through this. Don't do that. I'm like, that's a crazy, cool theory. Wow. Yeah. Very, that, that blew my mind. Right? I know. I was listening to it on the Very interesting. subway, and I was like, whoa. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Very cool thing to check wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this has been so yeah. interesting. Wow, man. We had a lot of topics. Yeah. We got, we I was, was, the time, I was like, we, I'm very impressed that, <laughs> how we got to Guardian Angel. We, <laughs> <laughs> we went from dolphin fucking <laughs> To guardian Truly, angels. Truly. <laughs> to showing your rabbi text. And now my I'm guardian angel is a dolphin. I'm convinced. I love <laughs> it's, that little, come back it's a statue. Form. It's a little sculpture. Yeah, I don't know if it has to be coming back in human form. No. I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe I have been a dolphin, and that's what created my obsession. Oh, I love that. Oh, all oh. the dolphin people got to get together and figure it out. It's probably a Facebook group. Got to go to my Knowing millennials. Dol- dolphin fanatics Knowing millennials. anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Get to all my meetings. Oh. Lord. All right. Wow. This was fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you so much for Thanks having me. Thanks for doing me. all the shots, I too. Had, oh, yeah. I'm going to shout were, you out for doing them. The last we little one. The last two ones it. were little. So, yeah. But thank you for that. I, I feel pretty good right now. Yeah, I me too. Good. Yeah. Let's go take out some souls. <laughs> <laughs> souls and dancing. <laughs> exactly. We're going to go dance. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. Oh, how yeah. was it? Did you learn a lot? <laughs> 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 <laughs>